My name is Shusip Aki Shibi and welcome to the Rin Castle documentary. I haven't made one of these videos in a while and I thought it would be a good idea to do so now. So I visited Rin last year and it was an amazing experience but before we talk about that stuff, let's first learn the history of the castle. My friend Neil from Real World Magic will take over and tell you guys all about it. He's an amazing YouTuber and makes great videos. I think you guys will enjoy them, so please, when you're done watching this video, check him out. I will drop all the links in the description down below. And now let's get started. Hello, my name is Neil Trigger. I'm going to be your magical host for my section. I've got my own channel called Real World Magic, which I'm guessing is probably going to be linked down in the description. Now, the Rin Castle is located between Rin and Oh wow, oh wow, Lake. <laughs> this is really funny because I have no idea how to pronounce any of this. The Rin Castle, located between Rin and Oh wow, Lake by Liberty Square in Rin, Poland, is a late fortress built by the Teutonic Order. The fortress was built in the place of a former, smaller stronghold, as ordered by the Grand Master of the Teutonic Order, Winrich von Kniprode, in around. 1377 to serve as a convent and a headquarters for launching attacks against the Grand Duchy of Lithuania to its east. The Teutonic Knights fortress had a square layout with towers on the corners and was supposed to defend the knights against the Lithuanians. Soon a settlement appeared close to the edifice, the first mention of which can be found in documents from 1405. It was known as the Rhine after the Rhine River and was included within the Comturship of Balga. Rhine later became known in Standard German as Rhein with an H and in Polish as Rin. Since the 15th century, the population was mostly Polish. In 1410, after the Teutonic defeat at the Battle of Grunwald, the castle's fortifications were dismantled, limited to one Gothic building in the eastern part of the castle complex. At the onset of the Thirteen Years' War in 1455, the castle was occupied by local peasants, later recovered by George von Schleiben, who massacred the peasants in front of the castle at the Battle of Rin. The castle was captured by the Prussian Confederation, at the request of which, in 1454, King Casimir IV Jagilon signed the Act of Incorporation of the region of the Kingdom of Poland and thus Rin became part of Poland. Later on it was captured by the Teutonic Knights and was repeatedly besieged by the Confederation's troops. After the second peace of Turun in 1466 it came under Polish suzerainty as a fief. The Komtor House Zur Rhein was established in 1393 after which Rhein was the seat of a Komtor first until 1422. The Comtour ship was re-established in 1468 following the second peace of Turun. From 1466 the first Comtour of Rhine was Friedrich von Wallenrode, brother of Teutonic Grand Master Konrad von Wallenrode. Well the best known one was Rudolf von Tribbelskirch, who was also involved in the colonialization of Prussia. After the secularization of the monastic state of the Teutonic Knights as the Duchy of Prussia, a vassal state of Poland in 1525, an Outchantman office was set up in Rhine and which functioned up to 1775. In the period of Tatar invasion against East Prussia, the village was burned down on the 7th of February 1657 and numerous settlers were taken captive. Ooh. Between 1709 and 1711, the plague swept through Rhine which is not very nice because no one likes plague. Along with the hardship that this brought, it also took many years before Frederick William I of Prussia gave Rhine a town charter. 
This decision, made in 1723, was related to the fact that the town served as an administrative hub for a large rural region. This change in Rhine's status provided a much needed stimulus for the town's further development. In the 16th century, the town and district's population was almost entirely Polish. During Tartar attacks in Masuria, the village was burned down on the 7th of February 1657, and many inhabitants were kidnapped. It was not until 1902 that Rin received a railroad connection, though it was only a one-track link of a light railway with a narrow gauge. Additionally, the castle was bought and converted into a prison in 1853. Rin was administered by Landkreis Lutzen within East Prussia from 1818 to 1945. The town became part of the Great German Empire, after the unification of Germany by Prussia in 1871. As a result of the Treaty of Versailles in 1920, East Prussian plebiscite was organised on 11th of July 1920 under the control of the League of Nations, which resulted in 1,460 votes to remain in Germany, and none for Poland. After World War II, the region was placed under Polish administration by the Potsdam Agreement under territorial changes demanded by the Soviet Union. Most Germans fled or were expelled and replaced with Poles, expelled from the Polish areas, annexed by the Soviet Union. One of the well-known contours of Rhine, Rudolf von Trippelskirch, is well known for his role in the colonialization of East Prussia. At the end of the 18th century, many troops were stationed in Rhine during the course of the Napoleonic Wars. The following years were a time of stagnation. Rhine only began to develop again in 1902, when the railway reached it, even if it was simply a spur link off a narrow gauge light railway. In the years 1818 to 1945, Rhine belonged to the Landkreis Lutzen, and since 1945 onwards, the town has been known as Rhin, and after 1945 the castle was adapted to serve as a community centre, a small museum and the municipal council. After 1990 the town's authorities sold the property to a private person that adapted it into a four-star hotel, Hotel Zamek Rin, which is awesome, I reckon I should stay there. Okay, well I guess that's all from me then. <laughs> Just go and check me out on the Real World Magic YouTube channel where we make your life more magical. I'll see you there, hopefully. There are a bunch of different events being hosted in Rin from time to time. This year, for example, they're hosting the Teutonic Order Knights Feast, the Knights Feast, the Unusual Time Travel, Medieval Games 2020, Vine Festival 2020, a new spa opening, and even weddings. So if you like medieval style parties, this is definitely something for you and your partner. But uh, my, my personal favorite is a freaking Harry Potter holiday. I know, right? Like what? I so wish I could sign up when I was already back home in Iceland and I guess you gotta be 6 to 17 years old but that's easily doable with a little potion or two. The castle has food, uh, it's got very good ratings online so the food is probably good. I never actually tried the food but leave a like on this video if you want me to go back to Rin and try their food. In the hotel part of the castle is a little corner shop, which has a lot of merchandise. I did not bring much money with me, but I had enough to buy a couple of items, which I will show you right now. Alright, so the first thing I bought is this awesome shield. Uh, it's made out of wood. It's actually very well made. But yeah, there was a small one, there was a big one. Obviously, your yeah, boy had to get the big one. This is the Polish flag, and uh, it just looks awesome. I also got this king figurine, I mean, just look at it. Obviously I had to get it, it's so cool. Last but not least, I got this, uh... I don't know what it's called, a mug? It says, Hotel Rin. And inside I have a lot of different coins from different countries, but... Yeah, I mean... 
this is pretty cool. They also had other cool stuff such as shirts, mugs, Harry Potter stuff, night figurines and just a bunch of medieval stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching this documentary. If you enjoyed then don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to this channel because it helps me out so much. And obviously don't forget to check out Rin Castle's social medias and real world magic social medias which will be all linked in the description down below. So uh, yeah, hopefully I will see you later. This is like a tongue twister. Uh, Winrich von Knie Knieprode. <laughs> I can't say it. It was known as the Rhine after the Rhine. 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 Nater. Nater? I'm speaking weird. In 1410, after the Teutonic defeat at the Battle of G Grunwald. That's like Grindelwald. That's awesome. Later recovered by George von Schreiben. Schleiben, not Schreiben. Schreiben is like writing in German. At the request of which, in 1454, King Casimir IV Jaglion. I don't know whether that's J G Gelon, G Gelon, Jag Jagilon, Jagilon. I think came under Polish. S okay, what suzerainty? Suzerainty as a thief. <laughs> Are you writing in English? <laughs> right, <clears throat> let's try that again. Five, and really, Amtschaupt man. Additionally, the class, the classel? What's a classel? I, I've no idea what a classel is. I'm inventing words. Rin was administered, it's, it's, it's uh, right. I'm going to take a drink because I think I deserve one. This is vodka. It's not. It's not vodka. Right. Let's try this again. <laughs>